Availability, I'm going to read some of your comments because uh, I know you've been uh, putting up with some of our people <laughs> pushing back at you. So I'm going to read availability comments. There's always warriors regardless of Assange existing. He's not a par pariah. David McBride is going to jail for whistleblowing on war crimes in Australia. Yeah, crazy. Zoinks, where is the mob with pitchforks? Uh, Australia, rise up. Why are you letting the government throw throw i watched an interview with them i think it's the same guy right uh what a what a pleasant person he's done some horrendous ass but then he woke up right uh look up david mcbride guys literally in jail but it's not a win when he's released he'll serve a sentence which is a win for the powers epstein also shows that if your existential threat they will sue here's the thing with epstein they killed him. Everybody knows Epstein didn't kill himself. Everybody knows that. Anybody, media and stuff that comes out to you and says Epstein killed himself, instantly you know that they're low IQ rat rats. Right? So anybody that supports the most ludicrous claims of corporate media, centralized power, lifts the veil of who they are right that's a win right that's a win right they tell you who they are so right away you know exactly how you need to deal with them right that's a win it's not about going to jail or not going to jail or anything like this it's about what's revealed right no one wants to go to jail 100 percent but it's not look at the look at the people that the Canadian government froze I just saw that in, he is in, he, he is Canadian he's a Canadian uh, uh, asparagus brilliant I presume you are an American no 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 I'm a Canadian I'm in Canada but look at look into Canada right Canada tried to persecute crucify the trucker movement right they're racist fringe or minority that are anti-symbolic so they froze their bank accounts, right? They threw them in jail without uh, uh, charging them with anything. Solitary confinement, right? Now you look at Canada, right? In BC, that has always been liberal or NDP, right? Where the conservative party has never even held a seat as far as I know. They've never had power. They've, they've only had like 5% approval rating. Right now, they have the highest approval rating, as far as I know, last time I looked, in British Columbia. Why? Because the NDP and liberals were fascists, right? And everybody's sick and tired of being told what to do by the government, right? Look at the liberals in Canada. They froze people bank accounts, bankrupted people and stuff like this. People took a hit, serious hit, difficult life. People were fired. My partner is a nurse. She still can't work as a nurse, right? Really, through the government. Can't, can't work at a hospital and stuff. Best nurse you'll ever get. We took a hit. We took a 50% cut in family pay, right? Major fucking stress. Dude, it's major stress when someone's put in tens of thousands of dollars in education, can't work for two years, right? It's major stress on her, on me, on the family right finances got annihilated in large part for two years right longer right did we take a hit yeah did we lose no man we didn't lose what are you kidding me we didn't lose no boom boom right all the information coming out now people looking at us they go man you guys knew where the fuck it was at right you win and we won if we won, we win, right? We won. You got to look at the long game. Look at Assange, man. Look at Assange. He didn't want to be a martyr, and he wasn't a martyr, right? What is he? He's a prophet. He's a truth teller, right? He will live in history for generations upon generations upon generations to come as one of the most important people in our time. That's a win. He has a family. He has two kids. He has friends beyond belief around the globe. 
That's a win. That's a win.